Good morning. We've got some clouds in Branson. It is 79 degrees on some southerly winds with those dew points uh, really sticky. We're seeing the storms though back to the south and west where you've got some showers and storms coming into the Joplin and the Monette area. And that's where we've seen some storms this morning. So an aerial flood advisory is in effect there until 1 o'clock where um, there's been already 1 to 2 inches of rain and some flooding is a concern. So you want to keep that in mind. You've already got some locally heavy rain still falling down near Neosho with some lots of lightning. We've got another cluster of some rain up near Versailles and then back towards Osceola with some showers and storms there with some lightning. And this uh, cluster of storms is moving to the east, so you might get in on some of that rain here in Springfield shortly if you're not seeing some of that light rain already. Um, it's warm and humid out there. You can feel the air. It's kind of that soupy air mass. You can see deep reds on that muggy meter map where it is pretty humid out there. Uh, and it's going to continue to stay hot and humid and get even hotter as we head into the day tomorrow. Now to, 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 today we've got the heat advisory back to the west. It does include some of our western counties along I-49 from Nevada down towards Joplin. Takes effect here at 12, goes until 8 o'clock today for that heat index value getting up to 105 or hotter. So remember to wear lightweight, light-colored clothes, drink lots of water, check the kids, pets, and the elderly, and look before you lock. Uh, any hot cars can be deadly to children and pets, so never leave them in there. Um, those storms that we've got now do dissipate here. By early this afternoon, you'll have some clouds with highs up around 90. Overnight, it's warm and muggy in the middle 70s. By tomorrow, maybe a storm or two with those highs in the low to middle 90s. We continue with the hot and steamy stretches we had through the rest of this week. Uh, temperatures again just getting hotter and more humid. The storm triggers start to lift a little bit farther to the north by Wednesday and Thursday. For the, for the most part, will be dry, um, but it will be hot. So a couple of showers and storms out there today with that heat index value climbing to the west. The heat continues to crank Wednesday and Thursday. 90s feel like 100 to 110. Isolated storms could bubble on the heat and humidity, but most of us stay dry. You will have threats with locally heavy rain, lightning, and maybe some 60 mile per hour winds with any of those storms. You can see these highs in the low to middle 90s Wednesday and Thursday. Even after that more extreme heat breaks, you still keep highs around 90 degrees as you head into the holiday weekend. The key index forecast continues to climb over 100 Wednesday and Thursday. And again, you get a little bit of a break on Friday, but it's still going to be hot and humid. 90 degrees today, couple of showers and storms possible. It will be hot and humid. That temperature at 90 feels closer to 100. Very muggy, 70 degrees, 74 degrees overnight tonight, partly cloudy and humid. 94 degrees tomorrow, mostly sunny, hot and humid. It will feel closer to 100 and five degrees. Uh, same thing on Thursday, very hot and humid. A couple of showers and storms possible on Friday. We crank the heat, or I should say the heat continues through the holiday weekend with highs in the lower 90s.